everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to walk through the process of installing Uptime Kuma on a new Ubuntu server using Docker. If you're looking to monitor your websites and services with an easy to use self-hosted solution, Uptime Kuma is a great tool. Plus, we'll be using Docker, which makes the installation process quick and hassle-free. So let's dive in. Let me explain briefly what Uptime Kuma is before we get started. Uptime Kuma is a self-hosted open source monitoring tool designed to keep track of the availability and health of various services and websites. It's commonly used by system administrators, developers, and anyone responsible for maintaining websites or online services to monitor whether their systems are up and running smoothly. First, we need Docker. If you don't have Docker installed yet, don't worry, it's easy to set up on Ubuntu. Watch the videos in the description on how to install Docker on Ubuntu 24.04. And there's another video on how to install Docker on Ubuntu 22.04. The videos have commands in the description. You just have to copy and paste the commands while you follow along. And if you want, you can install Docker the easy way by just running one command and it will install Docker from the Ubuntu repository, though it will not be the latest version. You can check if Docker is installed using this command. When it says active, then Docker is installed. If not, install it. Only root and users with sudo privileges can execute Docker commands by default. With this command, you can then execute Docker commands without prefixing them with sudo. You can also check if Docker Compose is installed using this command. If no version number is displayed, you need to install it. Everything is explained in the videos on Docker installation in the video description. First, create a new directory where we'll store the uptime Kuma configuration, then switch to the same directory. From here on, you need to execute all commands from this location. Now let's create a Docker Compose file in this directory. You can use any text editor for this, but I'll use Nano inside the Docker Compose file. Add the following configuration to pull the latest uptime Kuma Docker image and configure it to run on your machine. Once you're done, save and exit the file. By pressing Control X, then press Y to confirm and hit Enter. Now it's time to start Uptime Kuma. In the same terminal window, run the following command to start the container. This command will download the necessary Docker image and start the container in detached mode, meaning it will run in the background. Or Once that's finished, Uptime Kuma should be up and running. You can access the dashboard by going to localhost colon 3001 or server IP address colon 3001. Of course, replace the server IP address part with your actual server's IP address in your web browser. Here we are, the first time you log in, you'll be asked to set up an admin account. Just follow the prompts and you'll be good to go. Should you install Uptime Kuma on localhost or a VPS, if you already have a machine running locally, e.g. a personal server or a desktop, you don't have to pay for a VPS. If your local machine is off or your internet is down, Uptime Kuma won't be able to monitor anything. It's only useful if your local system is always online. Running a monitoring tool on a local machine is not ideal if you want your monitoring system to be accessible from anywhere on the internet. Before adding your first monitoring configuration, it's a good idea to set up your notification preferences. This will allow you to quickly apply a notification to each new monitor with just a single click, rather than configuring them individually each time. Essentially, you're creating a reusable template for your notifications. Configuring notifications in Uptime Kuma 
is an important step to ensure that you're alerted when a monitored service goes down or has performance issues. Uptime Kuma supports several notification methods, including email, Slack, Discord, and more. You can configure more than one notification method if you like, and Uptime Kuma will notify you via all selected channels when an alert occurs. Email notifications send alerts to an email address. Discord notifications send alerts to a Discord channel. Push notifications for mobile apps or other push services. Once you've configured your notification settings, it's easy to apply them to your monitoring configurations. Go to the Monitors tab in the Uptime Kuma dashboard. But Let's set up one of the most common monitoring tasks, checking if a website is accessible. First, choose HTTPS under Monitoring Type. Next, enter a friendly name that will help you easily identify the monitor later. In the URL field, enter the website's address. You can leave the heartbeat interval at its default of 60 seconds, meaning the website will be checked for availability every minute. Let us configure Discord notification. You will need to create a Discord webhook. Go to your Discord server and create a new webhook. Copy the webhook URL. Test the notification. To verify that alerts are sent to your Discord channel, And just like that, you've set up reliable monitoring. Now, if anything goes wrong with your website, you'll be alerted right away and ready to respond immediately. Yes, monitoring your servers and websites is crucial. But what if you're using Docker containers for your services? That's where Uptime Kuma really stands out. Let us see how you can monitor a Docker container. First, stop Uptime Kuma by running this command. Next, open the Docker Compose file and add the necessary mount point. Run the deployment again. Next, go to the web interface, click on Settings, then choose Docker Hosts, and click the Setup Docker Host button. Pick any name you like for the friendly name field, for connection type, choose socket. Now let's return to the admin interface. Click on add new monitor, select Docker container as the monitor type and give it a name that will help you easily identify the container you're monitoring. In the container name slash ID field, enter the name of the container you want Uptime Kuma to monitor. If you're unsure of the container's name, simply log into the host and run this command to view the IDs and names of all running containers. For one to easily remember, it's best to use the container's name instead of its ID. Don't forget to attach a notification and then save the settings. And just like that, your container monitoring is all set up and ready to go. And that's it. You've successfully installed Uptime Kuma 
on Ubuntu using Docker. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or run into any issues, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy monitoring.